Hi, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to do face swap. And this time we'll be using Joffrey and Sansa Stark um, from Game of Thrones since the season ended. And I think it's really appropriate. And thank you for the 1,000 views. I'm actually surprised I got in my last video. It seemed that a lot of people liked it. So face swapping came as me as somebody in Reddit, some of you in Reddit, like asked me how to do face swap. So this is me trying to teach you how to do a simple face swap. So yeah, this is the before and this is the after. So let's go to file, open, and we'll have our picture. This is the actors from Game of Thrones. This is Joffrey and this is Sansa Stark. And yeah, since it's since it ended, I guess it would be appropriate to do a face swap about them for them. So yeah. The good thing about this, you need to make sure for a face swap so it's easier for you, is that the two people are like in the same picture, so they have like the same lighting. So, yeah, you can see that the flash of the camera is like going in front of their faces, so that's important. Also, you have to have a good quality picture. So, yeah, let's start. So, we have a picture. Let's duplicate a layer. And let's start with Joffrey, shall we? Yeah. So, what we're going to do is make a selection. We can make a circle or we can just use the line tool to go around his face. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just make sure you grab all of his, all of his face. So yeah, we do right click and click layer via copy. So we created a copy of just that, of just his face. Okay, so right before we do that, we'll make a copy of Sansa's face. So yeah, we do the same here. Make sure to click the background copy, this one, so it copies the layer of Sansa and not the layer of Joffrey's face. So click this one and click layer via copy. So now we have two copies of Joffrey's and Sansa Stark. So yeah, let's start with, let's take out the eye and let's start with Joffrey's. So you click the move tool and move it right here. Look, it always looks perfect. We click the opacity and we're gonna try to like, um, make the eyes um, fit into sound size. So let's go Control T and we'll rotate it a little bit and let's see. I think that's pretty good. Okay. So yeah, there we have it. Now, what we're going to do is click layer mask, and we get this layer mask. So, what we're going to do is paint, erase out the, the edges. So yeah, we click brush, make sure to make it black, and pick a good size brush. Okay. The good thing of layer masks and not like the race tool is that if you fuck up, you can go back. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. So, as you can see, we can have like part of his chin. We don't know if we want his, his chin or like Sansa's chin. Let's see if it looks good with Sansa's chin. I think it does. Okay, so look, we have our fa first face swap, and it looks pretty real, doesn't it? Yeah. 
So now let's go to census face. Remember we took out the eye of the layer? So yeah, let's put it back on and click census face. So we're going to move it and move it to draw face. We put the opacity and try to match Joffrey's eyes and I think Sansa's face. Um, Joffrey's face is a little bigger, so we try to like make it smaller for it to fit. And maybe we'll have a little bit of problem because like Sansa has hair over her face. So let's see if this is going to work. Or if it doesn't, we already have this face swap, and it's pretty good. So yeah, we click layer mask. And the brush. And yeah, let's be careful, because uh, um, she has hair. Let's make the brush a little smaller. Okay. Kind of worked, I think. Okay, let's do the rest. Kind of like her ear, but I mean, no. Okay. So, let's. You see this tiny part is kind of weird, so let's resize this a little bit. Click this to lock the proportions and make it a little bigger. There you go. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh no. Ooh, we forgot all this right here. We don't need softness for the brush to like delete these pieces. Okay, so yeah, um, oh, we're missing the whole forehead, this tiny piece of hair. Oh, shit, look, if you make a mistake like this, like that, you can put the Y tool, the white white color, and you fix it. It's back to normal. Yeah, that's why we didn't do that. Let's delete that. Okay. Okay. Wait. Her neck. His neck. Or her neck. Who knows? We don't know anymore. Wait, is his neck bigger? Huh, it's weird. No. Okay. This is... The details are what matter. You know? That's why I... Okay, so that's his face. Mm. I guess you know what we have to do. We saw that in our last tutorial. We use the clone SAM tool. So we have a little bit of the background. And that part that's like kind of ruining it, the effect for us. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that, <laughs> to be honest, because it kind of looks weird, but if you look at like the whole picture, it looks pretty real. real. So yeah, this is our face swap. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make. You just need to use um, this mask layers and the white and black brush. Make sure when you're doing this, this is selected and not the picture. 
when you're like using the white and black brush. Yeah, those are some notes. Um, yeah. So yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you like the end result, and I'll see you to the next Photoshop tutorial.